Hey folks, welcome back to Dominion 6 and uh, we are on, gosh, I thought I was playing Shadow Empire for a minute. We are on t uh, turn number 34, still quite early in the game actually. Uh, what was I doing with these guys? I'm trying to think, was I going to go in and try and take these, uh, was I trying to take these berserkers out? Oh, sorry, these barbarians. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, the other, you know what the other thing I've, I've realized with these is? I'm not going to be able to bless all of these, am I? I'm going to need somebody blessing them. Let's get ourselves a... Let, uh, let's get ourselves a bishop. Oh, we've got a bishop of the Sacred Shroud coming up next turn. So yeah, we're going to wait there. We're going to need to bless these guys. Have we got an archbishop? I don't think we have, have we? No, we don't. Okay. This guy's... Yeah, we, he's got a bunch of patrolling troops as well now maybe i want i might actually move i might move this guy in here and i uh, send him in in which case we don't need all these we don't need all these so i think but also we could go for these next lobo mater the sorceress ah sorceress is kind of scary but we do want that throne Yeah, I think so. I think we'll. Uh, I will keep these guys here, and we'll try and take that throne as well. Uh, if we can get all those troops blessed, we have got a fair chance. The sorceress is pretty scary, but we'll be able to. Uh, we've actually got our own troops that we can bring in. I might bring in the uh, the Augur elder. Yeah, we could have him uh, doing hold the skeleton spam. Yeah, that would work. Let's get these guys... Uh, yeah, we'll get these guys moving in together. We'll have hordes of skeletons and um, communion slaves. So we'd have uh, him just spamming out. Communion master, power of the spheres. Yeah, raise dead. That sounds like a good... That sounds like a good bet. Let's give him a bunch of gems. Six and five. I've got way too many gems, by the way. I need to start using some of these gems for something. Um, so... There's stuff that we can do with gems. We've got loads and loads of gems. We can do stuff with gems. So, uh, for example, you could do worse than making dragon helms and fire plates. These are really good uh, pieces of equipment you can give to people. Uh, the other thing is fire in a jar is temporary fire gems. Just a great item. So, you know, why not bu uh, bump out a bunch of those? That will turn your your fire mages into better fire mages, basically. Uh, you probably mostly use on your elders, although by using like yeah you get it. okay that's a really good idea so you could make fire gem so you can make the temporary fire gem item then you use that temporary fire gem to give yourself phoenix power and then phoenix power get takes you up to level two a fire mage so it turns all your fire uh, mage ones into fire mage twos not a bad idea uh, let's get this oh, i'm gonna actually keep him there i think i think that scout's probably probably in a good position where he is um, proclamation from Muspelheim. Okay, just taking a. I was just got a Muspel hearse. I I think I did most of my moves since I last turn. Okay, here we go. Now, um, hopefully we've broken the fort here at uh, Marverni. Yeah, we bro breached the fort at Marverni. So the Muspel hearse has claimed the inner throne. Okay, so. Got to be a bit careful of that guy, Muspelheim. He's uh, he's doing pretty well. We've researched Enchantment 5, so we've now got a horde of skeletons. Nothing found with arcane probing. Uh, there was a battle, there's a land battle in, sorry, there's a battle in land pristine between, uh, is that Turninog? No, that's, yeah, let's just watch anyway. Marverni, sorry. So it's Machaka and Marverni. Ah, they're actually breaking into the fort here. Okay, let's just watch this com uh, battle go on. What have we got here? I got a lion warrior from Machaka. Fire resistant, fire shield, invulnerable. Now they're not blessing their troops properly. They've still, they still got the invulnerability from the Kithironic lion pal. Those guys are really, really good. They don't want to be swarmed though. Okay, now they got blessed, look. So now they're blessed on the front line. 
which gives them fire shield. And, and these guys are going to tear through Marverni like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, there we go. Look. Those fire warriors have got a pretty cool bless. A lot of Marverni's, uh, sorry, Machaka's stuff ran. But they're onto the walls, look. Generally speaking, once you've killed the back lines, uh, you know, you, they're not going to win this battle on the walls. I think you have to be quite lucky. A whole bunch of these warriors ran. I think Machaka kind of got lucky there, look. They, uh, a lot of their stuff ran. Now, they didn't lose any white line worries, but I'm pretty sure some of those were routing at the end of the battle. Okay, um, Dominion change in Pranda. That's not good. So we need to, we need to sort that out. Uh, I think we're going to, we're going to try and preach that down, I think. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. He's still still got the disease. He's diseased and chest wound, never healing wound. Hopefully we can heal that up with the uh, Bishop of the Sacred Shroud here. Because I don't really want to be losing my Ogre Elders, even though they are very, very, you know, they're old guys. They do get diseases in winter. It's just how it goes. Uh, cast a ritual spell. Ah. You can twice born him. Okay. Well, that would work. Although he would take his, uh, he would take, he would carry on these. Oh no, chest wound. Yeah, he'd have the chest wound, but we don't really care about that. That's not going to hurt him. Bit of an expensive thing to spend your gems on, though. Uh, but twice born, you know, you're going to get a free, you're going to get a leash mage out of it if he does die. So maybe we do that. I would like. I, I mean, it's probably a better use of the gems. That, sorry, uh, gems than dark, not dark knowledge. I'd say. Yeah, let's do that. We'll twice born him. If he dies, he dies. <clears throat> no biggie. Um, looks like we've got a Turnanog army. Kind of close. We've got loads of gold, by the way. I need to be spending this gold. But let's make sure we're, we're actually uh, rebuilding stuff. So we're actually using it. Um... Get some Triarius up. Some of the stronger troops that we can get. Uh, here we want to be getting Equitates the Sacred Shroud. I think I didn't recruit anything last turn. Looking like it anyway. We'll get another Archbishop of the Sacred Shroud up there. Okay. Yeah, these guys were, we were recruiting Slingers on the front line, look. Let's get those Slingers. We'll have those guys taking the uh, the... The uh, cavalry charge or the berserker berserker charge. How long of winter have we got left? Quite a long time, I'd say. Okay, let's go and kill these. At least kill these barbarians. I think this guy can do this on his own. Yeah, they, oh, he'll easily do it. <clears throat> Might taking these guys to just test this uh, this script. Okay, so he's just going to do... It's not going to be raised dead now. We're going to do Horde of Skeletons. Because that's the better spell. I don't think he even needs to do Power of the Spheres. Let's just go uh, straight in with uh, Horde of Skeletons. Okay. Going to search the magic sites here. In uh, Woods of Weeping. Uh, that's They've not searched either. Let's get her out this way. Okay, we're going to actually... Right, we've got the opportunity now to, to, to do this siege, but I'm wondering if we've got enough troops. I think we're probably going to be okay. But it feels like we probably want a few more. I don't know. I'm, on, I'm kind of on the fence. I think we've probably got enough. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's get, um, by the way, I wanted to guard, let's get a bodyguard here as well. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Let's, I think we're going to, we're going to do this one. Let's storm the castle. 
We need to make sure that some troops are set to hold an attack rear. Uh, so let's get those guys and hold an attack rear. Uh, we'll also have the Triarii hold an attack rear. They're going to hold and fire. These are going to hold an attack rear, I think. Yeah, looking good. Now, again, we're going to start casting a horde of skeletons. Instead of, hold on, let's put this on zero. And then we're going to just copy that across where any other skelly spammers that we've got here. He's the only one? No. Okay, we've got four. Oh, he doesn't have a gem. Power of the spheres. He does, though. Where is he? Uh, can you see him captain one he's got a gem he's got a gem he's got a gem where's the fourth oh, there's another one okay i'm confused oh i know he's he's incoming yeah he's in sorry he's coming in from this so that's that's the issue here he's actually incoming so he won't be able to uh, cast that so Let's script him to do something else. Phoenix power or something. There we are. All right. This is going to be a really fun battle, I think. And we might lose some. We might lose some of our communion slaves, but you know what the hell? They're going to. They're they're there to die. That's the way I see it. <laughs> they are there to die. Let's get this guy moving in too. Uh, Machaka look like there might be a bit of an issue to deal with. Yeah, it's turning into a really interesting game because uh, our neighbours are not... Let's make sure we're building the fortresses up. Our neighbours are not slacking, I don't think. Sometimes they, sometimes it feels like they're slacking in Dominions and I don't feel like they are here. Uh, let's get him searching. No, let's get him moving in here because we're going to want him for uh, blessing duties. So let's get another one up. Oh, I think we'll get another... Yeah, we'll get, an, we'll get another bishop up, I think. Okay. Let's get these two, or these three. I think we're going to move them back to Ermore. We'll just keep them back in Ermore and we'll just start getting them doing their... Get, doing pretender stuff. Oh, we finally got a water mage, right. Uh, search for sites. Go, 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 go. <laughs> where, where have you been all my life? Uh, we've got no active research. Okay, let's just get the research done. Conjuration. That wants to be up to five. So I think... Yeah. Uh, we've also got alteration. Alteration. Well, let's, I don't know why we haven't gone into alteration at all either. We need that. So we'll go into alteration a little bit. Um, alteration is going to give us some of the protection stuff. And now we've got water. Alteration's got some nice stuff in water as well. Um, can we get crystal matrices yet? I don't think so. No, not yet. Um, what's the button for your uh, control A? There we are. So crystal matrices is... I think it's quite high up. That's the crystal heart. It's going to be a sorcery. Let's make sure we're getting the right filtering it. Slave matrix. Where's that? Sorry. There's the slave matrix. Ah, I'm sure the crystal matrix. Maybe I, I, he probably hasn't got the paths for it. Slave matrix. Find it. Thought it was here. I don't remember what it looks like. So, uh, I'm just having to look by the name. Oh well, I'm not gonna. Bash through it all. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's this crystal matrix somewhere. Maybe maybe he can't count. Uh, well, yeah, but I was showing all. Oh, well, anyway. I can't be bothered to look it up. Uh, Scipio. Let's get Scipio getting down towards this front line and we're going to get him preaching. Although it might actually might be worth sending him down here because we're going to want to take this throne. There's this one to take as well. Uh, we're going to go and take this one first. We'll grab this one, fort it up, and then we're going to go and we'll go and take this one next to Ermore. 
um yeah should be simple job let's all let's continue building these uh fire in a jar remember with the items uh seven is the treasury okay so ah look at this guy Vulcanius, let's give you a fire in the jar. And then we're going to get you out as a combat mage. Savius. Okay. Yeah, okay, I remember I built him so that I could transfer troops, I think. Don't think we're going to need any any help there. Uh, send him. Uh, I'll bring these guy on to. Oh, I'll just leave him here for the time being. We'll just get him on patrol. Um, I know what I was doing with him. He was supposed to be constructing the building. Let's get him researching. I want you constructing the building. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Got loads of money, and I think we should probably be spending it. So, what are we building here? Okay, we're building militia. I don't need it. I was, uh, I think I was building militia so that I could have something to take the charge. I was going to get a, a squad of them up, and then we can build something next turn. Uh, we'll go with the uh, the elder auger. Really, like because the elder augers are old, you want to be casting twice born on them. The problem is we don't have the death gem income for it. So we, we I mean, we'll be we'll be able to get a trickle of uh, white mages out of them, but not very many. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's see how this battle in Marverni went. Hopefully we won it. I think we will. Unless there was something particularly nasty in there that I just did not know about. We could have done a, you know, an augury on it just to sort of check to see exactly what they'd got. Uh, I should have thought to do that, actually. Okay, alteration two. Uh, we've got arcane probing. Not found anything. Tarkon's cast twice born. Uh, oh, yeah, he's had his disease healed now. Typical. Right, so get rid of his gems. And we're going to send him off into uh, into die. <laughs> we'll send him off into battle against Blue in Blue Moss Forest, and he can go and die. And then we'll say we're going to actually end up saving money on that because he's costing us two hundred thirty six gold a year, which is a lot. And uh, if he's a white mage, he won't. And there's a chance that he might end up with higher death magic. If you can get death four out of him, I will be a very happy person because that's going to be pretty damn good. Let's see what happened in these battles. There's a battle in Bodden World or Bodden Wald. By the way, slingers are reasonably good at fighting against barbarians. The reason being is they don't have much in the way of armor. They're not great, but they they are better than, you know, having some missile firing coming will whittle their numbers down slightly. Uh, we've also got some levees coming up. These are going to these are going to get hurt by these barbarians. Oh, here come the, uh, the the javelins. though. look at that. Oh, that shredded them. Now, hopefully, these levees can hold. Can you stand, men? Can you stand? I know you can fire two javelins a minute, but can you stand? <laughs> Make ready, you bastards. <laughs> I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to do it. I think even the slingers... Oh, the slingers might be running. Yeah, the slingers are running. But we expected those guys to run. Okay, flaming arrows is coming out now as well. I don't think he really needed to cast that. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Oof. Fire blast. <laughs> we took out more of our own troops there. Horde of Skeletons, though. There we go. Horde of Skeletons is one of my favourite spells. It's so cool. Okay, so we lost seven Hastatus, Leves, uh, Principeian, and a bunch of Slingers. We don't care about those guys, though. And, uh, yeah, so we actually grabbed ourselves a new province. There's a battle at the Fortress of Marverni. Let's go. <clears throat> I think I know how this one went. What do we got here? The Crusher from Marverni. Wow, that's going to be a difficult to defeat, I think. Although Lightning might might be able to deal with it. Uh, I think that they're weak. No, they're not weak to Lightning. Yeah, they're Slash and Pierce resistant. Uh, we don't have much blunt damage, so it's going to be interesting to see how we deal with that. Uh, they've got a Freak Lord as well, and this is their, their, this is their Pretender. They've got an Enchanted Shield, an Axe of Sharpness, some Enchanted Salt, and a Cat's Eye Amulet. Interesting mix of equipment he's got there. Uh, maybe he was expecting to be fighting against Jean or something. Or lots of ghosts. 
Oops, sorry, that was a bit too quick. Okay, so here we go. Here's our communion gone off. Divine blessing has gone off. Um, we don't have a whole lot of sacred troops here. Power of the spheres has gone off. And here's going. here comes the lightning. Zap. Zap. Fireballs and lightning. Oh, what happened there? We lost a... Now, are we losing mages already? I heard a scream. No, I think not. I think that was probably an arrow. I don't think we should be losing any communion mages. Oh, fatigue's getting high. Oh, look at that. That fireball. That was directed directly at my own troops. That one landed on target, though. Look at these. I brought in some crocodiles. Now, these things have got cold-blooded, so they're not going to fight quite as effectively. They're not terrible, though. They're been goaded into battle by the druids of Marverni. The evil druids of Marverni. Okay, this uh, crusher on the front line is not taking any damage at all. Um, but we're mostly fighting, it looks like we're long dead on the front. Oh no, they're Prickapace. Got Prickapace on long dead. Must be rather unnerving to be suddenly fighting alongside someone who's been buried in the ground for a very, very long time. Looks like our Prick, uh, Equitates the Sacred Shroud have actually got into the back line though. And that is going to be a game over for... Uh, for Marverni here, look. Now, I, I, I think the Freak Lord's already dead. Didn't actually see what happened to him. Let's have a look. What happened to him? Uh, he cast Fire... Oh, Lano cast Fire Blast. Oh, he got hit with a Fire Blast look. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. Freak Lord hit Principe uh, with a... Oh, hang on a minute. Cast Fire Blast. Line of the Freak Lord falls off his mount. Yeah, so he got hit by this Fire Blast, basically, in that round. That's what happened there. Uh, he fell off the mount. And then he was fighting against an Equitate of the Sacred Shroud. And then he was killed by an Equitate of the Sacred Shroud. So we've got a hero in our midst. We killed a Pretender God. And that's that, guys. Apart from watching us kill our own troops. There we go, look. Heavenly Fire killed the Crusher. So... We did lose one Archbishop of the Sacred Shroud and some Crystal Sorceresses. I don't know if they were killed from the scripting or whether that was... Oh, and seven Augurs. I, that, that must have been a scripting problem. So yeah, we lost a, we lost a bunch of mages. I've got to be much more careful with my with my scripting. I thought that would be okay, but we've clearly got way too many... We've got way too many communion masters there. So uh, we probably would, would have wanted an Archbishop of the Sacred Shroud in as a communion slave so that he's absorbing more of the... Oh no, because it, it splits evenly, doesn't it? So that wouldn't have worked. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was that was a little bit careless on my side, but there we go. It's often the way. Um, Flamen retreated. A uh, bunch of other troops retreated. You killed our god. So that's and we're in a never uh, forever war now with Marverni. But that is it. They're about out of the game. Titus was discovered and attacked in Land Pristine. Uh, he ran away. Uh, he was killed retreating into enemy territory. Okay. Uh, and we uh, lost, we, we healed some battle afflictions. That was including that uh, diseased guy. All right, we've taken the fortress of Marverni. This is great stuff. We're going to defend this now for a few turns while we. I'm just going to get, I'm going to reorganize all these troops later on, so don't you panic. Um, we're going to get, uh, we're going to take, we're actually going to rescript these troops now. We don't want to be having, uh, let's just put them on spells uh delete yeah we don't want to be uh we don't want to be doing communions for a bit until i've replenished my stocks of communion mages so yeah everyone else is looking okay now um i will yeah i'm going to go and grab flat glades and gnome peaks from from Marverni here so that we've got Marverni's full uh, circle, its cap circle. Uh, let's take 
What do we got here? Yeah, we've got some equitates to the Sacred Shroud. We've got a normal equitates as well. They'll probably do the job. I'll just put them in one unit. They're both the same speed. 23 and 23, yep. Uh, so those guys can probably go and grab... Oh, we need a few more of those. Okay, in that case... Take the Hastati. Uh, sorry, with the Prick Pays. Uh, we've got the Hastatus. Don't need all of those. And then we've got Prick Pays. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just re reevaluate re these troops. Let's get some levees up. So we've got a, re a replacement for our levees. Don't have much commu oh, we don't have any points here. And we'll get up a. Yeah, okay. We can't. Uh, we need to build a. Temp. Uh, we need to build a temple. Who's the best person for that? Machias. Build a temple here, and have these guys preaching the teachings of God. Uh. Okay. I'll. I think I'll have Kletos going out this way, taking out these. Just going to hold an attack. Yeah, they've got some slingers and probably some province defense. There's not going to be a whole lot there. Uh, these guys, probably okay to just take out whatever's here. Uh, I might... Shall I take a mage? Uh, he's dying. Oh, no, he's weakened in a limp. Like, we're going to leave, leave him there then. He needs... Uh, we need to twice born him. Maximus might do the job. Let's send Maximus out. Yeah, I don't want to be doing Community Master. Get some gems. Yeah, just going to do Skelly Spam, I think. Oh no, Ray's dead. That's the wrong spell. All the skeletons. Off we go. Okay, uh, so that should be those two cleared next turn. I think we'll probably probably have enough there i think so we could also we could probably spend oh hold on oh we've got these guys as well okay let's get them to hold an attack rear and um, we'll have these hold an attack rear we'll get these guys on fire these have come from a lot these have come a long way where have they come from? Belagor. Yeah, they've come all the way from Belagor. A long, long way from home. Let's get these guys researching. Um, are the, the ones that can preach, I want preaching. I want you preaching. I want you research. In fact, you. It's ritual spells. Yeah, we don't have much to do with our gems with regards to fire magic. I, we do want conjuration, I think. Um... So let's get conjuration so we can actually start using some of these fire gems that we've got because we're accumulating fire gems like they're going out of fashion and they're not going out of fashion we've got loads of them uh, we, we're going to have plenty of those things uh, ring of fire gives you fire resistance these are all like these are all good uses for your uh, you know for your magic uh, let's get yeah, he's doing fire in a jar let's get him researching Okay, let's get these transforming. Oh no, they they don't need to transform. They just they just have to be in the same place. That's right. Okay, what can they do ritual wise? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Vile water, which is a pretty cool spell. Not gonna lie, but uh, we have got some nature gems. Yeah, none of these paths are really high enough to be able to do anything really really cool. Uh, we could blood hunt. Don't really want to be if we're gonna do that, we don't want to do it in Ermore though. Um blood hunting could be fun. I don't think we need blood. I, I that would it you know, it's kind of amusing. Ah, look at this. Now this guy can forge uh, decent magic items too.
Um, but I think he's a candidate for having one of these fire in a jars and getting up to the front line. Let's bring him down this way. Uh, this guy's also going to be good on the front line with his nature magic. So let's get him going down that way. Oh, we can cast up. We can get like, the ranger's boots. This is a good one. Gives you reinvigoration. Very good for mages. You want to be casting lots of magic spells without dying. Um, but we don't have a lot of... Oh, yeah, we have, we have got a decent output of nature gems. So that is a good one to go for. The uh, the ranger's boots. So we can put that on a critical mage, um, especially like a skelly spammer. And that will help. That will stop him from fatiguing out so quickly. Really, really useful. Uh, Ankyus, let's have him. We'll search here. I didn't realize we've not searched Holy 2 yet. Okay, these guys. Yeah, not a bad little province. We probably want to put a fort up here. I think we're going to attack in here this turn. So what do we got? We got Equitates of the Sacred Shroud. Uh, these guys want to be in box formation, hitting, going on attack, hold an attack rear, I think. Same with these ones. We're going to go in uh, in the rear, attack the sorceress, kill the sorceress, game over. Um, we don't need to be taking those slingers, I don't think. Ah, what the hell? We'll, we'll see if they can survive. <laughs> if you can survive them, if you can survive the battle, guys, you deserve to be in my team. Um, we don't want communions. I don't want to be doing communions now. Let's get rid of the communions. I've decided that I don't like communions because <laughs> I keep getting them wrong. Uh, he's going to cast power of the spheres, and then hoard of skeletons. Yeah, he's got a bunch of gems here, so. Uh, these guys, they can also cast Fire of the Spheres. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's get those on 9. I'm going to get uh, swap these gems out to the to these ladies here. Okay, once with Power of Spheres, they're going to be able to cast... Oh yeah, we've got one more as well. Okay. They're going to be able to cast Lightning Bolt. So fire, uh, Power of the Spheres, and then they're going to do Lightning Bolts, I think. Yeah, just run those out. There we go. All right. I think we can do this. Hold and fire, hold and fire. Yeah, we should. I think we should, we should be able to do this. I think those are going to be able to hold. Uh, let's have him pre uh, but he's going to be blessing now we don't have divine blessing but we should be able to bless ah now here's the th here's the thing have you two all right you're going down there to bless those guys you're going to go up here we're not going to be able to bless them all um but we should be able to bless enough of them have them standing forwards they get more of them as they go by. Uh, and then we'll see how that goes. Uh, this guy is going to cast Phoenix Power. And then... Let's get him doing Elementals. He doesn't have many... Yeah, he's only got the one gem, apparently. So, uh, so yeah, he can't do all of those Elementals. Unless we switch him... Fire Gems here. Oh yeah, he's coming from a different direction. Let's just leave him like that. He'll do fireballs or something if you can't cast the ones that he was going for. Uh, let's get him searching magic sites auto. Uh, let's get these guys. Let me forge. The, ta the tablecloth of marvelous feasts. False supplies. Okay. Soldiers partaking in the feast might feel content, but they will starve as no real nutrition has been provided. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So you, you don't get the penalty from starving, but you still get the disease. That's not a bad little item, actually. Um, not a bad little item. <clears throat> you really, you know, especially if you've not got nature magic and you can't make the actual cauldrons of, of broth. 
yeah we've got water stuff we can make here i don't think we've got enough glamour gems have we yeah amulet of clarity gives you disbelief plus two so you can see through uh see through illusions the mirage bowler okay dependent dependent of luck that's a pretty good item i don't think it's enough to spend a little few amount of gems on uh, but can be very very useful especially on thugs and stuff uh, we've got the shambler skin armor this gives you air breathing and water breathing so you can go underwater um hmm. okay we're just gonna get them researching for now i think We're making yeah we're getting troops here good 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 uh i think we'll just start getting up some more mages uh let's get some more magic items up as well no we don't want to be preaching there let's uh let's move him I'm going to move him up here. So we're going to start getting some mages up here at Debrinta. This is going to t this is actually going to be taking attacks probably eventually. <laughs> probably eventually. Am I building? Oh, I was going to build one here too, wasn't I? Yeah, of course I was. In that case, let's get a temple. Uh, let's get a temple up, and this guy can put up a lab. Yeah, we'll search for sites first, and then we'll we'll put up a lab. Uh, Sincius or Kinkius here, we're going to get him down this way. Uh, we've got a commander here, but we'll just keep him on patrol. Or uh, we'll have him preaching or something. Okay, and that's it for this turn. Guys, I'm going to end the episode because it's uh, about the end. So thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care.